supposed to interfere in civilian affairs, will you? Well, the fusilier, il faut que vous m'aidiez! Yeah, I know, but she still insists she needs our help, sir. She says, I don't know. And 
Vic Morrow. Guest star, Marisa Pavan. votre ami. Il vous a soigné, il a fait accoucher vos femmes. Voilà votre reconnaissance. Il dit que son père était un grand docteur, un grand humanitaire ou quelque chose. De la façon dont elle dit. Oui, mais ils ne semblent pas acheter ça. Vous êtes tous des assassins. Assassins Vous êtes tous des assassins Vous êtes tous des assassins Vous êtes tous des Euh... Pourquoi Pourquoi avez-vous laissé tuer mon père Pourquoi nous avons-nous laissé tuer son père Nous n'avons pas eu le temps de stopper. Mademoiselle, c'est arrivé tellement rapidement qu'on n'a pas pu intervenir. Je pense qu'on va voir que le père est mort. Votre père va t'enterrer comme... Ce n'est pas en enterrant mon père que vous allez expier votre crime. Vous ne pouvez pas garder votre guillot en enterrant votre père. Où allez-vous Très loin Je vais très loin Oh, attendez une minute He says she's getting away from this village. She better keep off the roads. The crowds are pulling back. Ego sum resurrectio et vita. Qui credit in me. Etiam Simotius ferit vive. Et omnis qui vivit et credit in me, non moriatur in eternum. They're just about finished. If you care to go over and do something or say something. Good 
couldn't even go over to old man's grave. I guess she couldn't. She's probably all cried out. Ah, don't get all choked up. He's a collaborator, remember? Something new, Lieutenant. I uh, just spoke to company. They want you to find the mushroom girl, bring it back here. What for? As two wants to uh, talk to her. Seems uh, her father was working for us. Working for us? Yeah, just a minor agent. He was playing cozy with the crowd so he could gather information. Why aren't we told about it? Maybe we weren't supposed to know. Maybe. Uh, there was a foul-up in communications. The lieutenant, we're right here in this village when that man was, was killed in the street. I am aware of that, Sergeant. We could have gone to him as soon as we hit this village. I know. I'll just find her and bring her back. Huh? She didn't even know he was working for us. I know. They don't know what information she has. Uh, I just want to ask her questions about time, places, dates, uh, you know, little stuff. She's got an uncle who uh, lives just outside the next village. Maybe she went there. Supposing she won't come back. We'll bring her anyway. Cage, you better explain to the townspeople. Tell them she's coming back. Right. the villagers are going to think now. The villagers, huh? What about her? Thank <laughs> you. 
to know which farmhouse your uncle lives in. Don't worry about it. We didn't even see any yet. They were supposed to pull back behind the next town. What are you supposed to be doing here? I don't know what we're going to find now. We have no choice. We're going to get him? You're on me, Kirby. Give us cover. Punkt 20. He didn't know what you're talking about, Sarge. These two may not be alone out here. Nelson. Yeah. Take him back to the village. Ask the lieutenant to get an interpreter and question him. Take his radio. Come on, Fritzy. Let's move. I surrender. Yeah, I know. You surrender. the richtige Fernlänge. American Radio. <laughs> this is Checkmate King 6. Checkmate King 2 reports village secure. You have ordered him to hold there for arrival of bedposts and chickens. I say again, you have ordered him to hold there for arrival of bedposts and chickens. Out. 
Bedposts. Chickens? Bedposts. Tanks? Chicken soldiers. Oh, yeah. Eine findliche Abteilung, kommen da raus ohne Weg. Die Amerikanische? Ja. Mag fertig. Jawohl, Herr Hoppen. Bringen Sie Leute, Herr Mark, beeil dich. Mag fertig. Mag fertig. Just for us to go away, their uncle is dying. Let him have his last minute in peace. Come on, tell him. Marie. Marie, écoutez-moi. Une grave erreur vient d'être commise. Et mes officiers veulent vous en parler. Écoutez, Marie, votre père n'est pas un collaborateur. Il y a une raison pour laquelle il a agi comme il a agi. Il travaillait pour nous, Marie. Il travaillait pour l'armée américaine. Et nous venons simplement de l'apprendre. Mon père travaillait pour les Américains. Oui. Et vous l'avez repayé en le laissant mourir. Il a dit qu'il repayait son père en le laissant mourir. Dis-le à l'intelligence qu'il veut parler. Je l'ai déjà dit à ça, Sergeant. Sergeant, ce homme est en choc. Il besoin d'un hôpital. Cage. Tell her we'll take her uncle back to the village. Some doctors are moving up with battalion. Maybe they could save him. Now, écoutez, écoutez, il faut que vous reveniez avec nous au village. Et si vous revenez avec nous, on va amener votre oncle. Nous avons des médecins qui vont en prendre soin. Ils vont donner tous les soins qu'il lui faut. Vous voulez marchander avec sa vie? I know she thinks we're bargaining with her uncle's life, but we're only trying to to bring him back so she'll go. Well, you can't blame her for thinking that. Where did she go? Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry.
Marie, est-ce que vous allez venir D'accord, je viens. Je viens avec vous. Mais Pierre. vraiment à cause de lui. Pierre Gore. Well, only for his sake. you fall back with the rest of your men when they left the village? Ich no spreche English. Really now? You speak English a little bit, don't you? No, no! You're a liar. You've just answered my question. I'm losing my patience. All right, Lieutenant, maybe you better take it easy with him. Maybe he's telling the truth. Why don't you talk to him in German a little more? He's as stupid in German as he is in English. He understands me perfectly. I surrender! You know, this whole thing smells to me like a rear guard action. They tried it last month in our other sector. They proceeded in getting their hands on one of our radios. Then they called in all of their angry speaking lads and started monitoring our calls. I, I heard that. Uh, I better call some. White Rock, this is King 2. Sarge, radio. Hold up! White Rock, this is King 2, over. White Rook, this is King 2, over. White Rook, this is King 2, over. We interrogated your prisoner, over. Learn anything, over. Negative. He just keeps surrendering. Over. I think he's an artillery observer. Over. Yeah, well, that's what our interrogator figures, too. We found maps of the sector on him. Have you seen any more crowds? Over. Negative. Over. Well, you can hide artillery, but drop everything and search the area completely. This town's going to be full of visitors in about 40 minutes. Over. Bedposts and chickens, yeah? Wait a minute, Lieutenant. Lieutenant William, I can't drop everything. I have a girl here with her uncle. He's hurt pretty bad. I promised that we'd get him medical attention in the village. Over. Well, this comes first, Sergeant. Now, the Germans pull back too fast and too easy. If there's artillery out there, find it. Out. Tell her there's a change in plans. We have to look for artillery. On a un changement de plan. On ne peut pas prendre votre oncle maintenant au village. Il faut chercher l'artillerie, l'artillerie allemande partout. Il faut la chercher, il faut la trouver. Qu'est-ce que vous allez faire de mon oncle alors Le laisser là Vous m'avez promis de l'amener à l'hôpital. Il faut l'amener tout de suite. Can't you tell her You tell her she'll stay here with her uncle and send the vehicle as fast as I can to pick her up. Écoutez, Marie, il faut que vous restiez ici avec votre oncle. On va faire tous les arrangements nécessaires pour qu'un véhicule vienne le prendre. Vous et votre oncle, vous en faites pas. Que vous avez fait Marchez said we made a bargain charge, don't you remember? Tell her I have to follow orders. Très bien. Je peux faire marcher moi aussi. Je sais où se trouve l'artillerie allemande. Je les ai vus en allant à la ferme de mon oncle. She says she can bargain too, Sergeant. She says she knows where the uh, German artillery is hiding. She's probably lying. Well, she says she saw the artillery on her way here. Je peux vous y conduire. She says she can lead us to the crowds. What does she want to return? Est-ce que vous voulez en retour, Marie, si vous nous guidez? Je fais pas pour vous. Tout ce que je vous demande, c'est que lui et lui amènent tout de suite mon oncle au village, pendant que je conduis les autres chez les Allemands. Well, she wants little John and Doc to take her uncle back to the village now. Well, she leads us to the Germans. I don't trust her, Sarge.
thought it's okay. Sergeant, I'd call me. I think you're making a big mistake, Sarge. Nous espérons que vous ne mentiez pas, Marie. Je n'ai pas besoin de mentir. À présent, il me reste que mon oncle. Personne d'autre. Votre stupide guerre, ce n'est qu'un vain bruit dans mes oreilles. Elle dit qu'elle n'a pas de raison de mentir. Elle n'a pas de personne qui est là. Notre stupide guerre, seulement des bruits noises dans ses oreilles. Time. You've got to tell us where the artillery is. You can't go with me. My uncle is dead. My father is dead. You can't do any harm. Do you understand? Well, you haven't got to think of bargain anymore, she says. My uncle is dead. My father is dead. We can't hurt her anymore. Get ready to move out. Cage. Unless she could stay here with her uncle, that we don't stand much of a chance of firing that artillery without her, but we'll try it. That's what she wants. Hey, you can stay with my tante. We know very well that we don't have a chance to find the artillery without your aid. If this is what you want, it's what we're going to do. I'm sorry about your father and your uncle. But from here to the sea, there are millions like you and me and all of us. And this is going to go on until we... I think I know what you're feeling inside. You're filled with hurt and hate. And you don't care about tomorrow, but, but tomorrow will come. And the difference is, how are you going to feel about it then? If hundreds of men and women are blown to bits because you kept silent, if that artillery falls on your village, then you'll be helping to destroy the very things your father died trying to save. Now, he knew the risks he was taking. He wanted to help us because he believed in us and without even telling you what he was doing. He expected faith from you. And no matter how bad things in the village looked for him, you gave it to him. Well, I need that same kind of faith from you now. What would your father expect you to do? What would your father say you must do? Monsieur? Stell the canon in this direction. Das ist dort äh, Senderanlagen. Ja, zum Bataillon. Ja, das sind Anlagen. Gehen Sie dort in Stellung. Lassen Sie sie kommen bis an den Fünf. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Jawohl. Ach, 
Checkmate King 2, checkmate King 2. This is White Rook, this is White Rook, over. This is King 2, what's happening out there, over? We found the German artillery. They got a spot in, now here's our position. They're in Sector Charlie, that's 700 yards east and about 1,100 yards south. Do you read, over? I read, 700 yards east, 1,100 south, over. Correction, correction. Quotes are in Sector Dog. I made a mistake. Sector Dog. Checkmate King 2, checkmate King 2. This is Sergeant Saunders. This is Sergeant Saunders. There's a crowd in on our frequency. Repeat. Sector Charlie, about 700 yards east, 1100 yards south. Over. Out.
How was it, Sarge? Tell the lieutenant we're back. All right, fall out. soon and um, tell her we're grateful to her and her father for Officer from S2 here in a couple of minutes. Cage, let me know where our headquarters are. All right, sir. 